Hey Taylor, what's up? Eddie George here. Hey. hey, it's Eddie George, head coach of the NFL Tennessee Titans. He's also an Ohio State graduate. He won the Heisman Trophy in 1995. But Coach George is a man of his word and is about to settle a bet that he made with one of his own players, Taylor Lewin, a Michigan grad. They bet on the Michigan Ohio State game. Michigan won. So, Coach George, take it away. And my word, a bet is a bet. Yes, it is. Um, bet is a bet. Sorry, it's taking me a little time. That's to, okay. Uh, do this, but it's it's tough. It's been it is tough. Over the loss, over Painful the indeed. Forty-five twenty-three. Uh, you lost. Um, but I at least wanted to get this out there before the bowl games began. But well, we appreciate that. So thank you. Um, hopefully this brings a little joy and a smile to your face. Oh, it does. Considering all we're going through with the Titans. The Titans um, suck. <laughs> I'm personally going through. Um, may this be a gift to you. It's a gift. But uh, this is very painful. It's painful for, for me to put on this little tight ass jersey, which maize and blue. Taylor Lewin's old seventy-seven. Yeah, so that was painful. It's painful to wear these. These colors. That's these okay. You look good in them. Form, and to sing this this disgusting song. The victors. So, um, Pay it off, Eddie. Let's get this over with. Pay it off. So you can go about your day. Here we go. Let's do it. Now you hail to the Compton Heroes. Hail, hail to, to Michigan. The leaders and the best. Hail to the victors, valiant. Hail to the conquering heroes. Hail, hail to Michigan, the champions of the West. That's right, Coach George. We are number one. Michigan, number one. We beat you 45 to 23 the last game of the season. The second year in a row that Michigan has beaten Ohio State. So, Kudos to Coach George and Taylor Lewin for settling their bet. You know, through the years, I have used my own platform to get into the Michigan-Ohio State rivalry. I'm a Michigan alum, and about 13 or 14 years ago, when I had a show on MSNBC with my buddy Tamron Hall, I did a story a couple of times about Ohio State fans swimming in their own pee. Watch. You know, I'm a University of Michigan grad, and tomorrow is the big game with an inferior school, also known as the Ohio State University. So why are the Buckeyes inferior? Well, scientists in Ohio reported this week that Buckeye students swim in their own urine. Stay with me. I'm not kidding. Last night, thousands of Ohio State students followed an annual tradition of jumping in Mirror Lake in Columbus to get fired up for the Michigan game. But yesterday, before this event, several area newspapers warned the students that a graduate student had analyzed the water quality of last year's lake jump and found the temperature went up three degrees and the ammonia level surged. In other words, oh. said the grad school student, sci students are peeing in the lake. Again, Ohio State students had this information yesterday, hours before last night, and still they jumped in the lake, urine and all. Gross? You bet. Disgusting? Of course. But hey, we're talking about the sociopathic fringe in our society, a.k.a. Ohio State Buckeye football fans. Hey, Buckeyes, do us all a favor. Take a shower before you visit Ann Arbor, Michigan tomorrow. Taylor? <laughs> well, goodness, David. Now that you've made your feelings quite clear where you stand on this, I, I, I'm left Go speechless. Go blue. Hail Go. to the victors. <laughs> Pretty funny stuff. Well, a couple years before that, in 2006, Michigan was undefeated. Ohio State was undefeated in football. They met the last regular season game of this 2006 season. And I said, if Michigan lost that game, I would eat my own words. Well, Michigan lost 42 to 39. Ohio State won. So, in fact, I took my words from my blog. What was a blog? And uh, I cut them up and then I ate them on camera, and thankfully NBC erased the video, as the Ohio State fight song played on a CD player. What's a CD player? Do we still have those? In any case, the point in all of this is to say that um, public humiliation is the perfect way to settle a rivalry bet. So kudos to Coach George of the Tennessee Titans. Bravo to Michigan alum Taylor Lewin. Remember, no matter what happens in the college football playoffs, Michigan's the number two seed, Ohio State's in at number four. No matter what happens in the college football playoffs, we will always have the 2022 regular season finale to remember. Michigan 45, Ohio State 23. Go Blue.